What is up everyone, Kole back here with a new video, so today we're back with Casually Explained, my most viral video on this channel. Thank you guys, if you're watching this again and you watched the other one, I appreciate y'all. Welcome to the channel, we're back to Casually Explained. So before we get to the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I know 99% of y'all are not subscribed to the channel, so it only takes three seconds and I'm gonna count for you guys, so make sure you hit that button after three. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. It means a lot to me and I appreciate it so much. And don't forget to hit that like button at the end if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I make music and I also talk to people on there. So if you want to have a chat with me about anything, make sure to hit me up on there. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight to the video. Bow. Now, America is known as the land of the free and home of the brave, and while land remains very expensive and most millennials and Gen Z are too anxious to answer phone calls, it's still nevertheless a pretty good slogan. One thing that's rarely considered by Americans, however, is that there are other countries in the world besides America. For example, the other day Facts. I saw a nice picture on Reddit where someone was like, everyone loved my homegrown tomato salad at our wedding reception, and one comment was like, you shouldn't be having a wedding reception with dozens of people right now. That is completely irresponsible. I had a <laughs> bunch of upvotes. Then a couple hours later, the person responded saying, I live in New Zealand, but I thought you might have liked to see my tomatoes. I'm sorry. And in a time like this, that really made me think, damn, I wish I was married. And while we're all still in- Oof, man, that's tough. <laughs> What was I gonna mention? Um, yeah, it's true that Americans only think that America is like the main area. I'm not from America. Again, just letting everybody know I'm from Australia. I'm good. Uh, yeah, so let's get it. Here's some New Zealand right now. A lot of people particularly criticize America's response to COVID-19. Shout out to RJ. I know he's in New Zealand. Yes, sir. Because 500,000 people have died from a half-assed pandemic response. RJ Minaj. The number would be much higher than 550,000 if they had not locked down at all. And frankly, given the size of the country, it's remarkable that only 583,000 people have died so far. Yes, I was checking myself out. Now, while many consider America to be the greatest country on Earth, this is most only true in terms of nuclear submarines. Nevertheless, huh? America is known for its political democracy. Political democracy, of course, being the belief that if cyberpunk barely functions on PlayStation, surely it would have worked great on Xbox. It's for this reason one of the most exciting things to absolutely not be a part of is the American political climate. For example, sometimes I go... I never really understood the political things, so if you guys are political, let me know. I'm trying to get into it. I feel like actually it's an important thing to do, but yeah. Twitter to make sure no one has escaped into the real world and it's always an eye-opening experience because there are really only two types of people on Twitter. On one side there are the ones that think Trump is the lord and savior of God's flat earth and on the other side are the people who think that denouncing a bottle of syrup relinquishes them from their original white sin. Some academics have suggested this kind of division could lead to a civil oh. war but in my opinion as someone who grew up with Xbox Live and a microphone it's sounding a lot more like a Halo 3 lobby than Fort Sumter <laughs> 1861. Yeah, starters, that's facts. If there was some type of conflict it's already a no-brainer who would win. One side collects military grade firearms as a hobby and the other side thinks mental illnesses are pokey badges. Second of all if you get mostly Twitter most of these are uh, negative things are coming from Twitter so yeah. Kid from California to march to the deep south when he sees three bedrooms in a yard for 100k, you can be pretty sure he'll be welding trailers, driving a lifted F-150, and banging Joe Exotic real quick. It seems to me if you chop off the two political- Wait, did I say 100 grand? Where is this house at, bro? What the? Seems basically everyone just wants a good life, but the lives of city-dwelling and rural Americans are so different, of course they're never going to understand each other's perspectives. It's the same story back during the actual Civil War. Even though they were fighting, both the North and the South were ultimately saying the same oh, thing. I don't even know Black that. Black people should be free. Now, one of the craziest things about America is that your drinking age is 21, as opposed to Canada where it's 18 or 19, or Europe when it's whenever you have the balls, or Latin America where laws <laughs> are just things the police make up when they see a tourist. Now, a lot of people think it's ridiculous that you have to be 21 to buy alcohol, but personally, I think it makes a lot of sense. If my neighbor was some 18 year old kid and I saw him in the yard dual wielding a It's kind of different in Australia though. It's the same as Canada apparently. It's not 19 though, it's 18. But you guys get to drive early so it's kind of fit. We can't drive until we're- oh. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait. We can drive when we're 16 but we can't drive. Wait, how does it- we, no. We... Americans can drive when they're 16 and they can't drink until they're uh, 
21, but Australians can drink when they're 18 and, can, and can't drive until they're 18, but they can do their L's at 16, but full license in America is 21. But no, sorry, 16. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my head. <laughs> About P90s and obliterating a paper cutout of his ex-girlfriend taped to a sandbag. I think to myself, well, good thing he isn't drunk. So, as a Canadian, in my opinion, one of the best things about America is that most people are unusually friendly. Like here in Canada, we mind our own business at all times, unless we minorly inconvenience someone, in which case we apologize profusely for ruining their lives. But in the States, if you stand next to someone for literally any reason, that is permission for them to tell you all about their uninteresting life. So, one of my most American experiences was when I went to Disney World and I was waiting in a fairly long line for a churro. I actually want to go to there one day. It's quite not. I, I really, I've seen videos about it. So if you guys been there, let me know how the experience is. I heard negatives and positives, but I still want to go anyway. And there must have been at least three or four mobility scooters in front of me with some rather hefty individuals riding them around. And while that makes sense because it's Florida, the part that got me was when another three hundred pound dude in a scooter just cut in front of me and was like, "A lot of traffic today." And I was just thinking, traffic. <laughs> Sir, this is a churro line. And then as I was still processing what was happening, a lady about the same size wheels up behind him with a cone full of churros sticking out of her purse. She lightly rear ends his scooter like a bumper car. And he's like, oh, hey, honey. As he takes a churro and says to me, well, you have a good night. Tips his Miami Dolphins hat and rolls away hand in hand with his wife to watch the fireworks over the Disney castle and truly live the American I actually want dream. one of these, to be honest. So anyway, that's my argument against I'm just not lazy. Healthcare. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> now, let's say you want to get out of America, but you can't because there's a wall. Instead, you can use ExpressVPN to reroute your connection. Oh, to my God. For example, I mostly use ExpressVPN to connect to other Let me countries skip this. like the UK uh, or Australia. You don't want anyone spying on you while you're doing your blah, job. Blah, 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 blah. Don't finished. care. Casually explained. Yeah, go use it. Actually, support him. Support him. He's the one who's giving me video content. So go, go give him some love. Go subscribe to him. Go like to his video. Go tell him that Cole underscore three K or that's not my YouTube channel name. And VS Cole just sent you. Go ahead. <coughs> but yeah, sorry, I'm sick. But yeah, that was the video. I, I still like casually explained. Appreciate him for blowing my channel up slightly, but uh, yeah, um, he makes good content. So yeah, so if you guys enjoyed that, hit that like button if you enjoyed watching with me, and hit that subscribe button because I know you guys, 99% of y'all, I'm not subscribed to the channel. Just gonna go past. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed it. But yeah, if you don't, if you don't, it's okay. I appreciate you and enjoy your YouTube experience. But yeah, um, so. That's about it. Don't forget to like again and follow me on Instagram. Uh, I talk to people on there more than the comments. Sadly, I apologize. I still do come back on the comments and talk to people sometimes. But yeah, I, I enjoy it because uh, I post on Instagram and I do music. So yeah, so you guys like um, alternative music, make sure you go and follow me on Instagram. But yeah, that's it guys. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Peace. I'm gonna go have a shower.